Hello everyone, welcome to this adjusted lab here. I am your friend, your teacher Deepak Sharma. So, nice seeing you again and I hope you are doing well with your English language. So, today in our uh, lecture of communication skills, I have tried my level best to give you some of the sentences that are often used in your day to day life. Because one thing you took it for sure that English it is a language to speak. The more you speak this language, the more you use this language, the more deaf, more expert you will be or rather it would be uh, better to say more fluent you would be. And it is only the uh, difference between a native speaker and a non-native speaker that native speaker when he speaks the language it seems it is a natural flow. Or to adi cho kis aegi when you will speak it regularly on regular basis then it will give you a native touch because otherwise it shows that you are trying the other language. So, the moment this try is gone it goes your with your natural flow it becomes your native language. Okay. So, let us start the session today are you ready? Good. So, some daily useful sentences now whatever the sentences I am going to give you today. So, before that it is my humble request to take the notebooks pens with you so that you can note it down and you can use it. Okay. Or wherever you find these things you can understand well that how these words, how these instructions, how these sentences we can use or what we are going to act on that. So, uh, the first there are a few pictures in front of you. Now, you should be very clear with the concept. Now, in first picture what you can see a car is there some uh, it is a building, it can be a hotel, it can be an office. So, a staff is there. So, staff is running towards the car and second the car owner he is handing over the key. Now, so what intentions are there? What is going to be? Undoubtedly we can see it is parking, but the thing is here the person is not parking by himself. He is handing over the key to the person, right? So, this is called what? Valet parking. Okay, this is called valet parking, right? So, what with what we do in this to see kese marriage the ho, you go to any hotel, you hand over the key to the person who is there, and they hand over you the slip with the number. It means you are not parking by your own. So, wherever you find this sign valet parking, you hand over the key and you get the slip instead of that. So, this is how it is a bit different from parking only. Jithe parking likhya hoega, you will have to park by yourself. But where the provision of valet parking is there, it means now you are free from parking the vehicle by your own base, right? So, you hand over the key, they will hand over the receipt or slip to you. And when finally, after the event, when you will hand over the slip to him, they will take the car at your doorstep, right? So, valet parking. Next, yes, you might have encountered with this. So, when we see normally ki kenya, we do not call it fatak. So, this is called automatic boom barrier, automatic boom barrier. So, barrier it is in your language, it is a type of fatak. So, generally in India or in Punjab where you live, you can have this at every toll plaza or in some parkings. Okay. Now, the manless parkings are there everywhere. You take your own ticket, if you do not pay then this boom barrier it will stop you from letting out. Okay. So, it is getting automated. So, that is why it is called automatic boom barrier. Clear? So, jithe bhi sign padho or when any of the person is with you and you encounter this, you can say this is automatic boom barrier. Clear? Okay. So, next these pictures are there. Yes, it is a road sign a person is crossing. It is a road sign. Yeah, the cars are going on their own way, the people they are crossing. So, generally what we say this thing, we say it is zebra crossing. Okay, zebra crossing. But here 
it is actually the word this is called pedestrian crossing pedestrian crossing and it is the rule that whenever pedestrian crossing sign is there look this is also so if you get this sign or this board anywhere pedestrian crossing means this is for pedestrians jade log pedal chal rahe ne this way is for them only okay it can be zebra crossing or pedestrian crossing but the word pedestrian is now it's clear to you on any uh, you can say the uh, pathways or uh, uh, the in the middle ways of the roads you can have this pedestrian crossings clear so it's a new word pedestrian crossing now so somewhere you find these signs quiet zone or what is this this is called yeah can you recognize this it's horn okay we blow a horn in the car so these are called silent zones silent zones please don't honk please don't honk means you don't use the pressure horn there it can be a school area it can be a hospital area but uh from hospital or school other than hospital and school it can be a library area it can be a doctor zone so there you don't do this look how the students they are showing the slogans the silence no horn no horn means maximum of the pollution is now the noise pollution especially in our india we can have this thing use less horns okay avoid honking as much as you can so no horn or so this is the silent zone that you can have whenever you go to a doctor whenever you visit a doctor generally the signs are cell phones and to keep quiet this is what the putting finger on the lips so no conversation please cell phones turned off so if you read this thing you can understand this very well that now here i'll have to put my phone on silent zone or i'll have to be quiet okay even i forgot to do the today so this is silent zones no conversations okay now some are these warning signs you have accident prone area go slow now you can only understand the word accident so here the word is accident prone area means the traffic either it's the merging traffic or it's the diverging traffic you can have the chances of accident ho sakda ओके द रोड्स दे आर मर्जिंग या जो मिल रही ने आपस के ट्रैफिक सो तुम स्लो चलो इट कैन बी एन एक्सीडेंट प्रोन एरिया राइट सो दिस इज हाउ द साइन दे विल इंडिकेट यू टू स्लो डाउन एक्सीडेंट प्रोन एरिया फॉर रोड सेफ्टी इट इज ऑलवेज सेड दैट ऑलवेज यूज साइड वॉक्स वॉट आर साइड वॉक्स दीज आर साइड वॉक्स दिस इज योर मेन रोड सो दिस इज योर साइड वॉक इवन इफ the sign of this road and sidewalk is not there but if it is written in front of you that always use sidewalks then it's your road sense that you use sidewalks so generally whatever the instructions or whatever the things that i am showing uh, in these slides they are concerned with your safety on road because maximum we encounter the signs on the road and they are your life saving signs that's why i felt it mandatory to clear this thing with you that especially in our english class the more often do you are using some sentences definitely they would be helping you in this way okay so always use side walks clear now this is a very uh, dangerous thing for everyone those who have any even the bikes or even the cars to away zone so if you have any sign of this only to away zone means if you will park your vehicle at that very point definitely your vehicle would be towed away by the police officials or by the administration then you will have to pay some fee on the basis of that after paying that fee or after paying that chalan you will have to uh, you will have uh, your vehicle back clear so it is to away zone clear so whenever uh, you have this sign so then entirely the risk is yours you cannot have the uh, i think uh, courage or i think you shouldn't do this uh, error to park your vehicle in tow away zone it means definitely you are 
going to miss your vehicle after some time clear so it's clearly the sign is indicating no parking to away zone violators will be towed away at vehicle owners expense now this is very uh, uh, the thing for you important thing for you that owners expense means everything that is spent by the government or by the authorities to tow away that vehicle to the safe uh, area you will bear the expenses plus the fine clear and sometimes you uh, don't get the vehicle sometimes it is impounded even clear so this is another indication for you it is written here tow away zone so this is a dangerous zone even for two wheelers also clear so parking it's very important thing to park your vehicle sensibly now uh, after these some road signs or road sentences uh, the it sentences as i felt important for road safety after that we have some sentences often used in malls and restaurants clear so i know uh, the culture is changing so uh, you students you often go to the malls to restaurants and you uh, order something you go somewhere so these sentences or these images they would help you to use the things in a wise manner clear so let's start now uh, what you can see in the picture yes slide to open okay sometimes we have push or pull sign sometimes it is written on that push or pull so as a sensible person you will have to first of all read that that if it is written push you will push the door then it will open otherwise it won't open okay or if it is written pull then you will have to pull the door then it will open otherwise it will not and moreover there is not any problem to see jo bhi kar rahe ho but if it is written and you are not following it shows that you are not a learned person okay so baki saryan de vich jada o thoda odd feel karan di bajaye go for the instructions very carefully so uh, in front of you you can see the signs light to open and you can see these doors okay so whenever you go to any uh, that mall or any offices now it's very common in offices so sometimes the door open by itself so these are called yes slider doors slider doors so some are automated slider doors some you will have to slide open some you will have to slide open clear so these are uh some things that you observe in the malls or in the offices slider open doors okay so are you comfortable with the picture yes so now slider door or automated slider door when it is written slide to open you don't push or you don't pull it means you will have to slide slide means ek taraf leke jana to see us the way okay now let's see the next picture yes you have these things in malls generally when you go there so ki dekh rahe ho tusi apne samne one is the electric stairs jadiyan tanu upar leke jande tusi aksar ki keh dende ho ha ji electric stairs te upar jana ya second is what second is what yes it is lift ehi use karde na apa second is lift clear now so um, that you can see in front of you dekho to see these are stairs electric stairs and this is lift that is taking you up so what are these called actually or what the signs you can encounter in these places these are escalator versus elevator escalator versus elevator now what is escalator that escalates you escalate the matlab ki hunda you go up escalator means you go up so these are called escalators these two so or you can uh, generally you can say this it's uh, uh, electric stairs but the name of these things is escalator escalator and that elevates you 
elevates you that is called elevator or lift they have the same name elevates you elevate matlab tanu upar leke jana clear undoubtedly the purpose of both the things is to go up but this escalates you because this actually this term has been coined from the graph graphically it escalates it shows so elevates you it uplifts you clear so whenever you go to mall now anybody ask what is this you can uh, say this is escalator this is elevator or you can ask from your friend who is with you that okay you want to go through escalator or through elevator instead of lift start using the word elevator clear this is good now okay next uh, undoubtedly what you can see in the picture ha ji dosto ye dekhi ye cheez kithe ethe ta dekhi honi hai in the movie theaters or what yeah can you recognize undoubtedly it is chair yes this chair is to sit okay this is armed chair so what are these called you have sometimes in malls the uh, pressure therapies or uh, you can say the comfort chairs these are called recliner chair recliner chair they recline look in this picture the chairs are reclined in this way that you can become comfortable you can be comfortable as you are in your position clear so these are called recliner chair whenever you see don't get astonished that what is this now you know the name recliner chair recliner chair so instead of normal chair it can recline in this way okay so they take almost the shape of a bed so you can uh, be comfortable as you are in the position of your sitting clear i hope you are noting down or you are clicking the pictures now next what you can see in this picture undoubtedly it's an arrangement of tables and chairs clear here also it means it's a collective place to sit so generally we have the name what what is the name of such places they are restaurants clear but here you can see the sky also yes so it's another version it's a new uh, you can say concept of restaurants roof top restaurant means where the roof roof ke andar chhat that is converted into a restaurant so that is roof top restaurants or these are called open air restaurants the concept is uh, i think in use nowadays especially in the smaller cities also they are adopting this culture of rooftop restaurant or open air restaurants and people like to sit in the evening they feel themselves close to the nature so now whenever you go to such places you don't say i am in, in a restaurant say i am in a rooftop restaurant or i am sitting in open air restaurant okay so this is a new another uh, concept for you clear ek aur me cheez be here i would like to uh, mention one thing that's it's 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 not restra it's hindi it's not restaurant because we our students they say this thing restaurant so rent okay this is not rent it's restaurant okay and this it is not a clear or oh, sorry not a sound so restaurant okay so this is rooftop and this is open air now so can you recognize this area wherever you go you go for uh, uh, any uh, when you go to new place you want to add something you want to ask something this is inquiry okay so where we do the inquiry that is called reception area and in that reception area what is reception this is a word from receive from receive so where you, the person uh, anybody who, where you go so they receive you there then you are the reception area and generally the reception area is counted as inquiry so if you go to any hospital hotel any uh, office so there specially that is marked reception area whatever the query you have you go there and you can ask from that and then along with that waiting area is there or waiting lounge is there so you can wait for your turn then you can go or then you can 
do whatever you want clear good so i hope when you go there now you are confident that what i am going to do okay so now some restaurant menus are there this is called a la carte a la carte a la carte okay so this is uh, now in trend the mainly the even the small restaurants they have started using the word a la carte a la carte now what is this what is this this is a new concept for you so this is the difference a la carte or buffet a la carte or buffet what is a la carte in simple words you will have to order by your own whatever the, if the, you have the menu in front of you you can order anything choosing different meals from a menu rather than having complete meal means you don't want to have a complete meal what is complete meal yes the complete meal is wherever you have buffet you have complete meal that is three course meal you have appetizers also soups also okay so appetizers also main meals also and uh, the desserts also clear but if you don't want to uh, want to have all these three in a combo to see alag alag kuch order karna chahte ho there for that the term is a la carte a la carte so jo tusi khud order kar rahe ho that is a la carte so it is generally nowadays it's written on the menu also clear or when everything is a uh, placed in front of you you are just filling your plate up that is called buffet a complete meal you serve yourself okay nobody is uh, serving you at the table but you will have to go there you will have to ta uh, you know, take your plate fill the plate whatever you want but the all the things would be laid in front of you that is buffet clear okay so now you are clear with the term a la carte and buffet good next now so it's a trend of i think uh, even in smaller towns smaller villages the trend is going to restaurant and taking the uh, food away right so even the zomato and the swiggy they are serving a lot in every town so i think you know the term but whenever you go to any of uh, such kind of places counters like mcdonalds or hamb or burger king or kfc they ask you in this way how so how how would you like to have dine in or take away dine in or take away but as a student when you go there first you might get confused with this thing dine in or take away dine in the means hai tusi utthe baith ke khana chahte ho or take away means you want to get that thing packed and take away like this person is getting theek hai so dine in or take away it means you will have to be very clear with the thing that you want to do ki tusi utthe baithna hai ki tusi jana so wherever you go and order dine in or take away it means you will have to answer in the same way if you want to dine in agar aapne wahan pe baith ke khana hai you can say dine in so it's the frequent question that is asked so if you know this thing in advance it can save you from the odd situation that you are facing in there at the counter clear so restaurant orders dine in or take away take away means leke jana kar dine in you want to sit there okay so here it's a very good thing that i encountered and it's only the picture the table manners which everybody should know these are called etiquette tips whenever you have a food on the table at a proper place you will have to get some table manners but definitely one lecture i will have only on these table manners in the next season okay it's a promise now this is another word for you uh, dormitory dormitory or a room so generally when you go for outing so you kuch camping kar rahe ho kuch kithe ja rahe ho online kuch check kar rahe ho rehna kithe hai so they ask you in this way why there you want to if a group check in is there you can offer dormitory dormitory is what a large bedroom with number of beds generally it's in hostel or in hospital beds okay so if you want a separate room room in this way but why i have put this here that you should be clear with the term dorm and now it is only called dorm it is the full word sometime is not mentioned so from dorm it must be clear to you dormitory clear so this entire restaurant hotel this everything you can deal now 
now we are targeting on some common Indian errors. Undoubtedly we speak English, but sometimes we do errors unknowingly because the way we have heard the language, the way we are reproducing it. So, sometimes we have heard in the wrong way, but it is always good, it is always better to correct the things with the time. Okay, so, common Indian errors are, now this is the first examples that I have pointed out. As you can see, in stative verbs, we generally say this thing, I am understanding it. Okay, the teacher is teaching in the class, they ask you, you say, I am understanding it. Ma'am, she is knowing the answer. Okay, ma'am, she is knowing the answer or I am having a problem here. I am having a problem here. Clear? So, here actually the thing is, this all goes in present tense, in the simple sentences. I understand it. She knows the answer. A problem bete a uh, uh, Nardan mainly Saradevich problem hai, ing lagana. I do not know why they put ing everywhere or why even we put ing everywhere. Avoid putting ing. Go with the first form of present tense. She knows the answer. I am having a problem here. I have a problem. Say it simply. It would be a correct English. Okay. I am having a problem. She is knowing the answer. Okay. So, this is how. I have a problem. So many other sentences are where you unnecessarily put ing, avoid ing in spoke, in especially in spoken language. Clear? It does not make any sense. Now, a noun number and determiners. Here, he performed many charities. Be clear with the concept of many and much. Okay. He performed many charities, he performed a lot of charity that is a uh, better way of saying this or you can say uh, uh, I have uh, uh, much uh, friends, a much number of friends. So, where you can count the things, there the word is many or some, okay. where you cannot count it can be much. Okay, so, jinnu gin sagadeya, uthi asi many laga dene, many shows that it is a countable noun. So, jithi vi tusi many laga na, u countable hai. Like, okay, so charity, it is not countable, it can be measurable, even, even it is not measured if we go with that sense. Okay, so it is a lot of charity. She loves to pull your legs. Asi aam tor te gane, ha, yaar, o na, teri kanni khichna bho pasand karda. Means, tenu tang karna bho pasand karda. Clear? So, he, she loves to pull your leg, not legs. If legs would be there, you, you, you would be fallen. So, these are some of the errors that we use and uh, that we do and this is how to correct them. Okay, it is a very uh, common and easy, easy error that we do. Open and close instead of switch, turn off as in. Sometimes, Especially as a student, you people say this thing, open the AC, Mamre open the AC or open the fan, okay. So, instead of that, we have a term that is turn on. Whatever the electric appliances you have at your home, they are either turned off or turned on. So, turn on the air condition, turn on the fan, turn on the power, clear. So, whatever is related, turn on the tap. So, open ni ke na, right? And instead open your shirt, wherever any of the dress is there, you cannot open and close. You can say close your button, chik hai, kyunki button close kar rahe But open your shirt, instead of that take off your shirt. Now, these uh, five sentences are in front of you, okay? And to see a dekhna, I will give you uh, uh, 30 seconds to find out, to read these sentences and find the error. Or to see kar de ho. First is my cousin's sister is with me. Second, you have a headache, haan ki karo, medicine khalo, eat medicine and rest. He was feeling tired, ho thakya hai, so he laid down. So, next sentence, aam jada chal da, light has gone again, light fade chale gi hai. Anyway, I will wait for you. Anyway, I will wait for you. Now, you have 
a few seconds to go through these sentences and find error and then correct these. I will wait for that. Okay, done. I think you have discussed with your friends, even your teacher can help in that, but I insist teachers do not help them, let them do by yours, uh, by themselves. Okay. So, now the first sentence is my cousin's sister is with me. Ki galti hai dich? Hanji, dich galti hai this gender. When cousin word is used, then the, it is not any brother or it is any sister, it is my cousin, my cousin is with me. Okay. Second, you have a headache, eat medicine, we never eat medicine, we never eat medicine instead of that, we what? We take medicine, so this is galti hai. eat medicine instead of that, avoid doing this thing that you say Punjabi, just make English, dwai khana, khana is not, it is not food that we eat, okay, so we take medicine, take medicine and rest. Clear? So, eat is the wrong word here. He was feeling tired, so he laid down. Okay, laid down. There are two words, lie and lay. Did it both confusing? Lie down the matlab hai letna. Lay the matlab kuch rakhna. Okay, so as the box was heavy, so he laid it down. Unhe rakh ditta. Clear? Or lay the table. मतलब उन्हें टेबल ते खाने दा सामान रख देता बट विद दैट जे थक्या होया सी देन ही कैन नॉट ले डाउन ही विल लाई डाउन लेटना ओके लाइट हैज गॉन अगेन ए दा सब तो बाद देखांगे क्योंकि ये तुसी अक्सर कहंदे हो लाइट चलेगी लाइट आ गई लाइट हैज गॉन अगेन लाइट हैज कम अगेन एंड एनीवे आई विल वेट फॉर यू ओके सो दीस आर द आंसर्स माय कजन इज विद मी यू हैव अ हेडेक टेक मेडिसिन एंड रेस्ट he was feeling tired, so he lied down. Light has gone this jagah karo. It's a power failure or power outage again. Okay, power is off again. Simple. Power is off again. Okay, ho sakta. Power is off again. Okay, you write. Anyway, I will wait for you. It's not a sentence. Anyways, I'll wait for you. Okay, anyways, I'll wait for you. Now the last of today's. Sometimes the use of isn't it or no. Hamesha asi apni language you can say no ya na. You are going isn't it or to see ki kande ho instead of you are going aren't you. So you are going isn't it so or you are going aren't you this would be the proper form aren't you. Or ek problem hai jadi is to see aksar kar de ho. This is na. Now you have placed it an indication with no. He is here no. So, you see, say, no, often replaces no. So, avoid this influence of your mother tongue. Ek na, ek another word is there. I am writing in Punjabi, K. Whenever you forget to say anything in English or you forget to continue the things in English, you always try to add something or you speak what? Unintentionally K. I want to say K, I want to go there. So, K instead of that. Keep a silent tone or observe silence for that very moment. I want to say that, that I want to go there or I am going there. Okay. So, another, uh, so these are all the common errors. So, avoid this thing, whatever you are speaking, the speech should be clear and the more you practice, the clearer it would get. Okay. So, this was all about today's lecture. Okay, I am here again Deepak Sharma in front of you and why I choose these things for you students because I know first to learn the heavy words or heavy sentences, you should get the knowledge about the things that you encounter in your day to day life. That is the language, that is the language. In this lecture, we have got all the information about the things we see, about the things we get to know in either roads or the malls or the offices or the hotels, restaurants or we speak. In next lecture definitely, I will try to give you so many sentences that you can speak there and we will start from introduction. 
okay so till then stay safe practice english love english thank you see you soon bye bye